In this video, we're going to focus on how we can put in text in the center of the background of a line chart. So let's start to look how to add text in the background of a line chart in Chart.js 4. First of all, make sure you have the boiler template, which you can find here on Chart.js3.com getting started. This link you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on here, copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to get the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page and of course, join the Discord channel. So what we're going to do here is we're going to convert it into a line chart. And we're going to say here line, save that, refresh. Then what we want to do is we want to put the text in the very center at the back of the line. So basically we're going to target the background here to do this. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to say comma here, I'm going to say a plugins, and then we're going to say here, text in the center, or any kind of name you want to give it, text center in this case. I'll call this my text center plugin block, then constant text center. Then I'm going to say here the ID will be equal to text center. And then when is the drawing time? Because I want to make sure that the text will be behind this line. I'm going to say here before we draw the data sets, we will draw the chart or basically the, uh, the item, the text that we want to put in here. So I'm going to say here all of these objects in here. And then what I'm going to say here is a constant and do an object destructuring like that. If you don't understand what this is, please check out in the description box, the video on the setting chart here, object destructuring. I want to put in your CTX. I'll be using here the chart area and specifically the top, bottom, you can just put them all in left, right, width and height. You don't need them all, but I'll just put them in there. We can always remove them afterwards, so that's not a problem. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say here ctx.save to save all variables above. And then what I want to do here is look at it. Well, let's see, the text I'm going to put here behind I'm going to say here ctx dot font size or font. I can just say here bold and let's make this very large, 50 pixels. And then the font family sans serif. So once we did that, the next thing what I want to do is to give it a color. So I'm going to say here ctx dot fill style. And we can give it the color, maybe say uh, gray or light gray. Doesn't really matter. Once we have that, I want to start drawing the text. So I'm going to say ctx dot fill text. And then we put in here basically the text and then we have here the X and Y coordinates because we have the chart area. So we have access to certain data. And what we really need to do here is basically calculate what is the center on the X scale and what is the center on the Y scale. To do this, we can get the width, which will calculate the width of the X scale. However, it will not consider the left side pixels here. So that's very important to know. However, I'm just going to show it to you. So let's say we're going to, we're going to grab the width, width, divide this by two. And then you might say, well, then if that is the case, the height would be this side here, calculating from this point all the way to here, how many pixels that is. So I'm going to say height divided by two. However, if we're going to do this, you'll see that the text is slightly off. There's a few things that we need to do here. First of all, I want to say text align will be center. So let's make this here text align center. I want to say ctx that text align equals center. Save that, refresh, all right. So once we did that, you can see now it's still off, even though it's in the center, but the reason for that is because of this additional left side pixels. That is basically the left side, this is considered the left side, which calculates the pixels from this point to here, which is assigned for the scale. So what we're going to do here, we divide this by two, and then we add up here the left side. Save that, refresh, now we are correct. However, we are still not on the vertical level. We're not yet aligned to the center because of the very top here that has as well additional space. So what I need to do here, the height divide by two, plus the top. So I'm going to say here, plus top, save, refresh, and there we are. And now we have this nicely set in the center. 